So I just finished watching the movie Cargo that I, I um, started watching last night and watched most of. And um, I really liked it. Um, it was sad, good sad in parts. And by good sad, I mean, I know it wasn't me. <laughs> and they triumphed over the bad stuff, which is really makes it good, I think. Um, and it was a bittersweet ending. Um, I think, I think it would, uh, if you're bored and you're looking for a Netflix recommendation, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's not like a movie that would go out of my way to watch, but it's on Netflix. And if you have a subscription to Netflix, just go and check it out. It's, um... Uh, so an Australian um, actors and um, native Aboriginal actors and um, I'm sure I lost a lot of it in I say in translation but they're speaking English but Australian English and American English English is different. Addiction, slurring, speaking. Uh, I slur my words, so I, I, I don't know. So I, I'm sure I lost a lot in language, but also culturally, I was like, "What's going on?" You know, I was like, "What did?" It's just like, um, things that uh, pe other people might. Do that, Americans, Oki, us, uh, us redneck Americans, probably wouldn't do. It, it's just so it's um, it's good. It's it's a good move, but it's I probably miss something. I know if if I watched it with someone who could understand the language or at least be quicker. I'm not a very quick thinker, so um. I know I, I I know I didn't get it all, and usually uh, I get something on the second third pass. So, uh, yeah. Um, but it's it's a good movie. Um, a little bit more of the premise. Um, this I don't know if it's exactly a virus. Um, it's not exactly like the zombie virus, but it makes you. The people crave uh, eating flesh, but they crave digging, too. I mean, you see a lot of these people digging into the ground, their face covered with dirt, or, like, sand in their eyes. I mean, it's, 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 I don't know, it's kind of, kind of unique. Um, and it's about... Well, it starts out a man and a woman and their baby on a boat, like a houseboat, going in the river. And they stop because they see a beach, or a, a yacht crash. It's it's half over. I don't know what happened. It's in, it's in the water. And the husband goes over. In and out. He gets in. He, he steals some stuff and he gets out. He hears kind of a noise. But he kind of ignores it. Well the wife. Is curious. So the next day. She goes over. She hears a noise when she's in the yacht. And. It. Hurt her. She's bleeding when she comes back. Bite her. Or. I mean, it, it ripped her, but I don't know what happened, but, so she was infected, and, um, the way, the way this, uh, virus thing works is they have 48 hours, I, apparently this is a while after the apocalypse started because they have these, like, uh, med kits that have ex directions for use and stuff so it's been you know long enough developed like that and with these countdown 
wristwatch things. Forty eight hours it counts down, and um, so she knows that her times her hours are numbered, <laughs> and they leave the houseboat, and they're going to. See, that's something I lost. Uh, they're going to go somewhere. Um, maybe a hospital or something. I don't. I don't know exactly. And they end up. Events happen. They end up having a car crash. And she is about to turn. She's got. She was actually impaled on like a tree. And she's about to turn. So he gets their baby, their their little girl out of the car. I think his wife bites him. Then, but of course he didn't turn. But it doesn't show him killing her. But there's this um thing in the that med kit that it's like a um thing they kill cows with where it shoots up really fast. And um she has that and you hear him use it and then he just turns and he starts he screams. Um because he's just killed his wife. And, um, anyway, that's, that's, that's the sad part that I mentioned in the little short video I did last night. And I won't, I won't talk about the whole movie, but, um, so the, that maybe she is the cargo. And he wants to get her somewhere where she's going to be safe because his, his, he knows his are numbered. And in the events, they meet this this young Aboriginal girl, and um, long story short, she is with him after he's turned, and he, and her tribe kills him. It's a mercy killing at the point, and that girl go takes the baby home with her and um so that, that's the good the good that's come of it um yeah the the baby she's she would be an orphan but she's also an orphan with an adopted family an adopted uh because that little girl's mom and i think that old the old one she's I was talking about that's her grandpa but there's also there's a whole bunch of people there. I don't know terrible relations, but so um, the baby, she got to a safe place. I mean, and um, so that's that's a, it's a good ending. I I enjoyed watching, and now I'll just watch Star Trek.